Have you ever watched someone do something for the first time or maybe the first 10 times, right? So uh, it could be a, a little kid trying to figure out how to put their clothes on themselves. And, and at times that can be kind of cringeworthy. But the way things are set up for us, thankfully, is that time and time again, as we try something, we uh, achieve more and more and we get better and better at those I want to live my life closer to Thee. Oftentimes when we think about life and life in Christ, we think of the same things, right? That we should be getting better at things each and every day. Uh, Paul has a little bit different take on it, and I want to go into that and how he equates it to being thankful And we read in uh, Colossians 3, starting with verse 12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other. Forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace. And be thankful. So here Paul is talking about taking off the old self and putting on the new. The the sin that we have in our lives, uh, we start over every morning. And so here's Paul's take as we're asked to put on these clothes of, of patience and humility, love and forgiveness. And that is that we start each day anew. His mercies for us, Christ's mercies for us, are new each day. And so instead of thinking of it as a mountain that we're trying to climb and get better at, Paul sees it like this. We start each day by getting up. We may have a good day and come back down. But no matter what, each day we're starting as we get up, not from a certain point on the mountain. And so through our good days, and our bad days, through the days where we have a lot of joy and we can give thanks no matter what, to the days where we're just not sure what comes next. We can find comfort in Christ because his mercies are new every morning for us. And so as Paul finishes this section and says, and be thankful, he can say that and mean it because each day is a new day. And in each day, we know that the mercies of Christ His love, his compassion, his forgiveness for us are new each and every morning so that as we go throughout our day, we can find comfort in who Christ is and what he's done for us. Will you pray with me? Dear Lord, we thank you for your love, for your forgiveness, and your compassion that you have shown to us. Help us to remember that each and every day you show those things to us in you and let us live our lives in that. Help us to be thankful. It's in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. Don't have one? Consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.